Thomas and Mike. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Fantastic. Hockey dockies. So, here we are on the deck. Uh, at, <laughs> yeah, spawned in on the runway. Be right. Um, in a wonderful little aircraft. The P-38 Lightning. These views. Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. Oh, in fact, that's even better still. So, yeah, lovely bit of kit. Freeware, uh, Milviz. You go to their website, M I L V I Z. Um, smash that into Google, you'll find it. Uh, I've also got an F 15 and a Stucker. Uh, I forget what its designation is, but anyway, the, you know, the old Stucker dive bomber. So, um, yeah, let's see what we can do with this. Now, I've also downloaded the latest. I say the latest, the latest that's compatible with FSX, uh, Netherlands scenery, for a few different airfields. Um, there is a ver so that's version 4. Version 5 is out, but it's P3D only. P3D version 4 only, to be uh, precise. So, I've only flown this once. I did one circuit at East Mids a few days ago. Um, and... I have to admit, I needed control lead to get the engines to chooch. And it turned out it's because there's a lock on here. And I can't remember how you disable that lock. So I've currently got mixture full. Oh, beans. I'm sure I just clicked that that button but it's having none of it yeah uh, this might be a control e again in a second if i can't get this to chooch um battery so yeah master power is on we'll turn the gen is on avionics can come on uh that will actually make the thingy my thing spin so why can't i press this button today and it's not giving me the tooltip. Yesterday it gave me the tooltip press to unlock mixture or something or other. Uh, throttle fix friction I couldn't give two hoots about. See, so whenever I change the um, thing, it's just pulling it straight back to zero again. Sure, it was that button I pressed. Arg and blast. Oh, smeg it. I wonder if there's something else I've got to press to actually unlock it. I don't think there is. Mm. Of course, I could read the manual. Oh, that did something. Why are you no spinning a thing? Right, control eight. Not got all day. Put the brakes on, that'd be a good idea. Oh look, it's giving me the tool tip now. Um okay. Fine, whatever. Oh, so you've got a GPS. <laughs> I never flicked the avionics on the other day when I was playing with this. Uh, we'll flick on some things that I think probably should be on. Um, can I spin them a thing then? Sort of. Uh, not see this panel couldn't give two hoots about. Can that go to like open or something? No. Okay. Can it go to automatic? Yes. I like the automatic word. Oil coolers, yeah, cabin, something, something. Dark side, fantastic. Uh, flaps, we don't need them for takeoff. Uh, that's your gear. Uh, prop is maximum, which it probably won't be because this thing screams a little bit. Uh, okay, cool. Right, let's um, let's give it some power. So I mean about a scream, and I'm going to pull the props back to 2,500 ripens. 
and this thing has absolutely no static roll control or turning basically. So up come the wheels. However, this thing accelerates like the proverbial bat out of hell. So I'm going to pull the props right back to 20. I'm going to sort the mixture out. So that's these levers down there. Um, I'm going to get ourselves roughly trimmed. Uh, and this thing will just keep accelerating like an absolute machine that it is. So we'll do a 180, we'll overfly Schiphol, Amsterdam, uh, because that is the first airfield on our tour. We've got one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven airfields to visit. Uh, might even give it a bit of rudder. There we go. So Amsterdam, very famous for having one runway that's absolutely miles away from all the others. And there it is on the right. Uh, quite often used for landing. And then you've got a monstrously long taxi all the way back into the terminal. I mean, that's one hell of a, a taxi. Uh, not insignificant in terms of fuel either. So, yeah. I've got OpenLC Europe. But um, you can clearly see where that ends and the scenery starts by the sudden change in colours. Um, so the airport scenery is freeware. So everything you see on the airport side of things is freeware. Yeah, this auto gen that's around that you can see in the lighter green, that is payware Orbex. Um, but yeah, there's loads in Netherlands uh, airfields, uh, all free, on uh, NL2000, Netherlands 2000. Uh, just download them. They've got a nice funky installer now, so you don't have to think too hard, which is always good. Um, but yeah, it's it's freeware, so don't expect any sewed jetways. Although, I'm sort of assuming that. Can't see any jetways anyway. Oh, I certainly wouldn't expect them in freeware. I've got them brilliant, obviously, but... No, I can't see any down there. But look at that. Look at the detail on the taxiway markings and stuff. The freeware. I mean, that is... The guys who do this, you know, absolutely fantastic. Doing it all free. Brilliant. Really good stuff. I mean, that's ace. So much so. I'll tell you what. We'll do a... Um, I have got to keep a slight eye on the temperatures and pressures in an old fighter like this. An old warbird don't know whether the uh, engine's crapping out is modelled, but let's assume it is. And let's do a nice low fly down the main taxiway. There we go. Yeah, cool. I'll tell you what, couldn't have done that much better. Just so we can get a good appreciation for these taxiway markings. God, there's even taxiway boards. All these boards look telling you what taxiway's what number. Now we've got a bit closer and zoomed in and all that. That's nuts for freeware. Wow. Look at that runway marking boards. Yeah, you're not going to see them doing this speed. I'm not too bothered about that. Okay. Well, colour me impressed. So the next one on the list, so yeah, as I say, we've got six, uh, was it six, three, six, seven? Seven to do, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, there's, there's more uh, in their scenery pack, but I've only downloaded these seven. So next on the list then, as we uh, just fly over the top of Amsterdam, ship all for one more time. Uh, next on the list is Rotterdam. So Amsterdam Schiphol is Eham, as you can see at the bottom of the screen there. Um, Echo Hotel Alpha Mike. Rotterdam is Romeo Delta. So Echo Hotel Romeo Delta. And we've actually got two military airfields on this route. Uh, Rotterdam's the only. Oh no, we've got and we've got three airports and one very very minor airfield, which. 
we have been to before, many moons ago, when we did a Spitfire tour. Um, you'll have to search back to find it. And we skimmed around the uh, the little sort of islands around the top of the Netherlands. And I think this was one we actually stopped at. But I've only just downloaded the scenery, so it would have been on freeware um, scenery then. So freeware on the uh, default vanilla. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. If I swing a left a bit, we can actually go straight down the runway. Those with a keen eye might have already spotted it off on the. Um, sorry, that's not it actually. That's Haag, Valkenburg Navy base over there on the right. And Rotterdam is. Yeah, we can just sort of see some spawning in there. Any of you with it? Oh, yeah. Steady on. With a keen eye will have seen it, or you might even see it down here on the GPS. Let's get this trimmed. I mean, right, I'm full throttle, but I've got the props nudged right the way back. Uh, what am I doing? That one there. And uh, we're not hanging about. I'm assuming... But that's not the the like proper airspeed indicator for for this aircraft in real world because um, it wants to go a lot quicker. So T's are good fuel. We've got millions. Have we even got fuel pressure? Oh, we got hydraulic pressure, I suppose. Oh, and we got suction, so that's fine. Yeah, all good on that. Not a problem. So we're very nearly at Rotterdam. Scenery moves quite quick below us when we're going this fast. Now, We really can pull the mixture back, so not that we need to fuel save, but let's do it. Well, because I just want to reduce the speed. I can pull the prop pitch back even more, but it's going to start juddering. Already bumping a little bit. Can't get the prop RPM below about 19,000, so let's stick it at 20. Which, of course, will actually speed us up slightly, but never mind. Um, <clears throat> reduces your torque, but increases your speed. There it is. So I've got my little moving map up just to give me a vague indication of where we're going because I'm not sure if we've got any radio stuff in here. Let me knack, it's got a VOR. Okay. Well, we could have done it properly then, I suppose. Never mind. We'll do that another day. there. So here we are just on the nose there is Rotterdam. Let's go and have a look and see what this looks like. We'll do a uh, nice fast pass along the runway first. Is it all... Oh, there we go approaching... oh you can't see the pop-up. Um, approaching Rotterdam. All the runway lights spawning in. Let's give it a bit of rudder. Oh, maybe not quite that much. And again, you can clearly see where the airport scenery starts. Look at that, that looks great as well. Even disused taxiways. Not much of a terminal going on here. The lights look good. 
Is it still thinking about spawning it all in? Might be. See if we can do a sneaky shandale. Oh, not with that much rudder we won't. Certainly not my best shandell I've ever done, but there we go. Come in a background. Is there anything else to see here? I, was, I must say, after looking at Shipple, which I know is a busier airfield and all the rest of it, I was sort of expecting more. I mean, it looks great, don't get me wrong. Sort of thought there might be some boards in a, uh, you know, a bit of a terminal building or something. Happy lights look good. Let's give that chandelle another go. Chandelle's a glider move. No, I'm having to put opposite aileron on to keep that going, so that's absolutely not how you do one of those. Look at that though, that, that scenery looks good. Now, I thought something was going to spawn in and it was just FSX being a, a mardy bum. Oh look, there are some good markings down there though. So, away we go. Next up, my favourite um, IKO uh, code for an airport. Echo Hotel, Echo Hotel. <laughs> so, this is, what is this? Eindhoven, yes, Eindhoven, Jesus. Eindhoven Air Base. A little bit further than uh, Schiphol to Rotterdam. But uh, we can, I'll tell you what, let's give it a bit, a bit more juice. Much more on the mixture as well. Seems we're quite so low down. Again, freeware aircraft. This, I mean, it's stunning, and the the reflections on on this skin because it, it's metal, of course. I mean, look at that for freeware. Some weird Red Bull skin, but yeah, whatever. But we're actually seeing the proper reflections here. I mean, that really is. Outstanding for freeware. Can't comment too much on the flight model because I've not flown one of these in real life. I have no idea. Or a payware version that you know you could have a bit more confidence in, so I don't know whether it flies anything like the P38 Lightning Dead, but feels alright. Incredibly overpowered, which is typical of. American uh, warfighters of the era. Just get that trimmed a smidge because we're in a steady climb that I don't want to be in. But yeah, I mean, just look at it. Stunning bit of kit. Really good. So we're currently flying over, what's this? Door direct. Well, I've no doubt butchered the pronunciation of that, but anyone who's watching in the Netherlands, I'm sure you know that area. Yeah, 
Yeah, it is really, really pretty. Now, I don't know where all the tulip fields, are, the, you know, the infamous tulip fields are in uh, Netherlands, well, Holland, I suppose. In fact, to be honest with you, I don't know actually what the borders of uh, Holland are within the Netherlands, so not a clue. There's a place just coming up off our uh, 11 o'clock moment. Walwick? Walwick? W A A L W I J K. That's a lot of vowels. Two W's and a J. I <laughs> get that in Scrabble. Hints to win, isn't it? I did see something when we zoomed out then. Oh, it's a little uh, cooling stack, cooling tower. Very nice. Now we're over, yeah, about halfway. I wonder if I can go any faster without it complaining. There we are. Bit more prop, bit more mixture. Have we got uh, things open? That's oh, on automatic, so who cares? And everything else is on, so I assume good. I do. Radio stack replace. Oh crikey. Okay. No, we don't need that. Well, we have just eaten a bit more speed. Uh, need to re trim ourselves now. And it is now screaming at me. lag spike. Yeah, I'm dead reckoning at the moment, just using the moving map to sort of point and shoot, as it were. So what's our ground speed? 308 knots. Oh, of course, you guys can see that at the bottom. It shouldn't be any real different to our airspeed, because I haven't got any weather on. Yeah, we are hauling ass, mate. 309, 310 knots, call it. It is, just hit 310 knots in a prop. Twin prop, but a prop. It's insane. Temps are good. Yeah, we're not too bad. And we're getting pretty close now, so I'm just going to pull the props back, back a bit. We'll keep most of this momentum going, though. So I wouldn't expect that, to peel, that speed to peel off too, too quick. And I think we can see Eindhoven on the nose. Or at least the city of. Can't see the airfield yet. Now this is an air base. So again, I'm not. Is that a checkerboard? Yeah, 
Oh, there's Eindhoven uh, FC. I don't know what they call their stadium. As uh, FSEC starts to spawn things in. Oh, and that looks like an airfield that's just spawned in right on the nose. Alright, so this will be an overhead join then. At 2,000 feet, give or take. So yeah, an air base. I'm not sure what to expect for this. There's my ping pong to say we're approaching uh, eh eh. Uh, overhead joint should be maintaining altitude. Thank you, please. He says immediately descending again. Never mind. And then uh, we'll join a left downwind. And then we'll do a, a low pass down the runway. See what we can see. So there we are, flying over Eindhoven itself. Nice big forest in the middle. Let's do a, a steep turn because I don't think I've got much space to do a base. Oh no, I have actually. I've got a lot more space than I thought I had. Right, well that's going to be a terrible overhead join, but not to worry. The rudder on this is very twitchy. Military field of course, so it's quite a narrow runway. Which is uh, fairly typical. Nice markings, nice bit of apron there, or ramp if you're American. Just saw the pappy lights down off the right wing, sorry, off the right of the cockpit. Well, let's give another chandel a go. Nope. Absolutely not. <laughs> Why do I bother? Let's have a look, see from the outside. Whoa, that was some G force. Oh yeah, some nice uh, apron markings there. The puppy lights. Okay, yeah, so again, freeware, don't forget. Not too bad at all. Right, now this is the longest stint. So I'm tempted to climb ourselves up a smidge here. Just to see if I can eke out a few more knots on the old ground speed. So next we're going over to Enshada. I have no idea how to pronounce that, uh, but more commonly known as 20, Echo Hotel Tango Whiskey, TW, another uh, football place for those interested in, in your foosball, FC 20 I think it is. Alright, so that's 4K. 
about 4,000 feet, roughly. You probably eke out a bit more. I'm just watching the ground speed to see if it's actually helping or not. So we need to speed up because we've just been in a uh, climb. But Put ourselves up to 6,000 and then we'll level out. Got a feeling that might be the actual cloud base, so let's do five and a half. So we've got about 310, 312 there or thereabouts when we were low down. So there's about five and a half thousand, so let's trim for that. Once I've got us reasonably trimmed, we'll have a look outside. And of course, we're speeding up, so that trim is going to go to pot, of course, isn't it? So that's good enough for me. So we can see, we can see the cowl flaps open here. Can I zoom in on that? Down there, look. I wonder if they need to be open. Well, that's unclosed now, anyway. Now we're going high and a bit fast. So uh, just try and get the height sorted. And we'll keep an eye on the oil temp. Yeah, the oil temp's nice and low, so not too worried about that. Now uh, back to five and a half thousand, lovely. What are we doing? 332. So yes, that has helped. That has given us a few more, a few more uh, velocities. Well, it doesn't want to trim thing is absolutely screaming at me. While it's happy on the T's and P's, which it seems to be, then we'll roll with it. So what we got? 333-ish? Yes, yeah, so we got an extra... Is that 8%? Something like that on our speed? Obviously we're chewing fuel at the moment, but I'm not too bothered about that. We have millions. Just nudge nudge that audio down a bit. smidge off course. So where are we now then? Well the river on the nose, that's the Rhine. Which I'm sure you've all heard of. So let's see if there's any other uh, places we're going to fly over that uh, Sound familiar? Not really. 
never been to Holland, well, Netherlands, should I say. Apart from, like, stopping at services on the way through sort of thing, but don't really count that. No, I don't recognise any of these place names. Oh, yeah, no, I recognise one. Just off the left wing there. Here's one your cadetti types will know. That city there on the uh, on the port wing. Nijmegen. Nijmegen. Yeah, it's Nijmegen there. Yes, yeah, so I was looking at all the small text place names. I didn't look at the massive, great, big one. And then just north of that is uh, Arnhem, which you've probably heard of as well. Yes, Nijmegen, that's definitely one the, the military viewers will recognise, just that. Or is it that there? Nijmegen, it's south of the river, so it's that one there. And then north of the river sort of splits in two, that's Arnhem up there and the Arnhem forest above it there's our speed, 330, yeah we're still tanking it, that's good to see there's our height all over the place, standard for me there we are, just crossed over the Rhine Over, well over halfway now actually to uh, 20 and then we've got two short legs followed by one, one sim shorter than this one actually but not a million miles off up to the islands to the north of the Netherlands and then we fly back down over the marshes um, straight back into Amsterdam, into Schiphol. Yeah, cloud base is 6,000, isn't it? So we'll stay away from that. <coughs> I would like to do this online at some point. Um, I'm, not in, I'm not familiar with the online um, VFR rules around Amsterdam, though. So that's something I'll have to uh, look up before we do it. Yeah, we're covering most of the Netherlands here, at least most of the North Netherlands. Um, it does go further south than where we've gone, but not a huge amount, actually. In fact, no, Eindhoven's pretty far south, looking at it, and Belgium right below it. So actually, yeah, we'll have covered most of the Netherlands here. Shows what you can do in an aircraft doing 330 knots. So if you're to do it by car, I guess that's probably a day job. Might as well have done this in under an hour, I'm sure. So each time I tab out, the sound cuts out. Still not figured out a fix for that. Actually picked up a few more speeds. Three three five. Why we're bouncing around quite so much? Do we have wind on? I must have some default setting. I haven't got active sky running, so clearly picked up a bit of gust. <laughs> 
So we actually better start descending because that's 20 just on the nose there. I think. That's the river. That's the river. Yeah. anything if we zoom it in so this is another air base so military somewhere over there but it's that actually mm, maybe not but yeah typical FSX draw distance is poo and I can turn it up but then Heathrow crashes so this is what it is I'm afraid oh the engines breathe a sigh of relief seeing it and we're pretty close and we're more or less on runway heading actually as well oh there it is oh so we'll be able to do a straight in low pass that'll be nice A bit bumpy. Very bumpy. You can see I'm not putting in any control on the elevator and we're bumping about. So after this one we're going due west. Okay, cool. Pretty much bang on. So here we are approaching 20 airbase. And and shada? And shada? And I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh it looks like it's an old uh, triangular airfield. But with just the one runway now. Is that right? Oh no, that one's still operational. Just a lot smaller. Okay, right, well, not a huge amount to see there, but again, didn't particularly expect it. So we'll go straight on to Apple Do, Apple, Apple, Tuga, not Tortuga, T E U G E, T U G E, Deventa. Yeah, don't know, yeah, not a clue. German names can do then. Dutch, not a chance. So, let's get the Rippums up, since it seems reasonably happy with me uh, being quite brutal. Now, can we follow that river? Quite possibly. It'd be nice if we could follow that. Feel all damn busters -y. Although we're going west, so we're going back towards Blighty here. In fact, we're actually heading straight back towards Amsterdam. But uh, we're not quite going that far. Just give you a bit of an idea where we are. 
Yeah, I think I can more or less follow this river. And get the engines in a state where they're not absolutely screaming at me. Is that, ev is that even a river or is it a road? What a funny feeling, it's a road. Oh no, maybe not. I don't know. Canal. Could be. This aircraft does just sort of fit in this sort of low and Low and slow, I suppose, although we're not that slow. Oh, this is hard flying it like that. Yeah, I don't know whether that is supposed to be a river or a road. I'm going to guess canal just because we're in the Netherlands and yeah, why not? Bridges over it. It's a railroad, yeah. And that's going south again, and I don't particularly want to go south. So, okay, we'll break off that. Give it the beans. So we're halfway already, that's good. So yeah, it's Tuga, T U G E. This is civilian. So there might be a bit more to see here, I don't know. We will find out. million miles away from Amsterdam which is literally on the nose can't quite see the sea there but it's probably right on that horizon line so we're not far at all I'm pulling the engines back so you know we're close Just the other side of the river. So it's there somewhere. And again, we're more or less on runway heading here. It looks like an east west runway at Tuga. Seeing it just yet. It's, it's not far over the river. Whoa, Nelly. Crikey, on a stick. <laughs> right, I'm going to have to put some control input for that. Oh, wow. Yes, it is uh, bumping us about a bit there. And the rump, well, it's literally there. Am I being blind? Are you guys all screaming at your screen, going, it's there right in front of you. Because we are pretty much less than a mile. Oh, there it is. Got it. Can you see it? Oh, 
Oh, actually, if you zoom out, it's a bit, bit more obvious the way it's shading. She missed the shaders, I don't know. Wow! And there's the ping pong. Let's say we're close. We are indeed, we have visual. And I think we'll just do a flyby of this unless there's anything interesting we want to loop back and have a look at. So yeah, 2 6, almost east west. Again, lovely taxiway markings. Not really any buildings to be seen. That looks very nice indeed. Certainly a lot better than default. So we turn west northwest over to Lelystad. Another civilian airfield. And just the other side of this forest. Whereas it looks like an island. In fact, it is an island. Or the equivalent of. So we'll overfly a little bit of water. In fact, we can pretty much see that on the nose. Just about. And then it's sort of reasonably slap bang in the middle of the island, actually. And if I gain a bit of height, we might even see Amsterdam. So we can see the water, and we can just see the sea the other side. Oh, it's more like a, it's not an estuary, but that sort of thing. And we're going slap bang in the middle of this island here. Well, there is a little uh, bridge, land bridge. And then Amsterdam, uh, where are we? There. Amsterdam is more or less here. That's where we started. So this is the penultimate airfield. And we'll go up. Reasonably long uh, run. But we might do some uh, nice low flying along the coast. And then we'll come back into Amsterdam for a landing. We'll see if I can actually put this thing on the floor. Well, I will get it on the floor. Let's see whether the aircraft are reusable again. That's, uh, that's the important bit. How's the saying go? Any landing you can walk away from is a good landing. Any landing where you can reuse the aircraft again is a great landing. Read into that what you will. Right, and we're coming in perpendicular to the runway here. Can we even see it yet? Yes, we uh, can we? Sort of, it's there. Looks like we might have a few buildings on this one. And this is civilian. Oof. I'm not touching. That's, uh, yeah, as we're crossing over water. So that's interesting. I wasn't too sure how well FSX sort of model uh, vertical winds over water. There's your answer. It does. Or at least appeared to there. There we are. Still rendering in. Might do a, a couple of loops here. Don't know, we'll see. See if there's anything to see. So we'll call this a base, joining on base. Quite a short one. This looks like a, a private airfield, but you know, 
smaller GA light aircrafty type thing. Here we are approaching Lelystad. We got yeah, so we've got some buildings and stuff here. Nice runway markings, uh, taxiway markings again. Looks like that was a helipad in the middle there. Let's do another run of that. Looks uh, a lot more complete. Come on, wing over, please. There it goes. Puppy lights again. There was the helipad. Well, oh, ooh, Christ. That might be a nice little uh, excursion to get to. Navigating around Amsterdam traffic and the like. Definitely well within range of the spit. And this, clearly. So we go north. But I reckon we follow the coast, roughly. Might be a slightly more interesting route. Fleatherland in front of us, or Lely, well, Lelystad City town. It says Fleatherland. Don't know what that means. So we'll cut the corner slightly and we'll we'll aim straight on the nose there where we can see that little peninsula and then we'll follow that round not a huge amount further round to uh, our last airfield which is EHAL Alpha Lima Hammerland which is one of the uh, sort of islands on the marsh. Good, we've got some good speed going now. Oh, why have my landing light out the whole time? I think I have, haven't I? Click. There we go. <laughs> oh well. There's attempts. Looking good. Let's put the cowls away. Don't know whether, again, I don't know whether it matters or what. And Amsterdam that we'll be going back to is. Uh, if we get the bearings. There's the sea, so it's around about there ish. Oh, hang on, no, tell him pork is. Uh, oh, I wasn't far off, yeah, around about there ish anyway.
yeah, quite quite chuffed with this aircraft and very uh, well very chuffed with it again freeware milvis and uh, quite quite chuffed with the uh, freeware scenery so far it looks really really good very good indeed seems reasonably forgiving considering I'm literally revving the nuts off this thing I feel so confident I'm going to nip to the loo right let's go with that button We still in the air? We are. There's is. That's why you trim your aircraft, folks. No autopilot. Yes. <laughs> More in this thing. It's just purely well trimmed, if I do say so myself. So we're not far actually, it's sort of just around the headland, probably behind this post. I think we can see some of the little islands, yeah we can. There's one big one, and it's not, oh that wind, it's this one here we're going to. Wow, I've not touched the stick at all, now I have. So I said we'd do some uh, coastal flying, so let's do exactly that. Let's have a look at some of these yachts. Three hundred and fifty knots, nice. In a dive, obviously. Fifty four, God, that is quick. <laughs> Seriously quick for an aircraft like this. I don't know what they did fly at. I don't know whether that's sort of representative at all. Um, but it certainly feels very, very fast in this type of an aircraft. Oh, and the rudder is very twitchy at this speed. Oh, is that our first windmill? Wind turbine, at least. It is. I think I can see it before you'll see it. Just to the right of the nose cone there. It is indeed. It's close enough to the uh, famous windmills, I guess. <laughs> Not at all. Coming up to Harlingen. For anyone who knows. 
knows that Dutch geography, I certainly don't. I'm just reading it off the map. So yeah, I'm interested to see what these um, islands are like, at least the airfields, because this, this is a tour that I would very much like to do. I was going to do in the Spitfire, actually. I have done a long time ago. Um, tour of Norway, tour of Netherlands uh, in the Spit. I'm pretty sure they're on my channel. You, you might have to dig deep to find it. Um, of all the freeware sceneries and stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm very tempted to do it again. It was, it was lovely doing Norway in the Spit. I really hope that is on my channel somewhere. Obviously, much older streaming setup, not as good a mic, blah, blah, blah. Not that it's much better at the moment. There's, you know, I need to sort out my audio levels and whatnot. But um, yeah, that is on the to do list. Do not worry. But yeah, I mean, obviously, they're, they're chalk and cheese. They're two very different countries. Holland, no, sorry, Netherlands, very flat. Norway, very not flat. <laughs> And very very not flat uh, so that's really good I'd love to do sort of Finland and Sweden but there's just not the freeware scenery packages available for that um, and I sort of like you know I like the payware but I do like flying around and sort of showing you guys what you can do with freeware So we're nearly there, we're going to join perpendicular to the runway. The runway follows the direction of the island. And we're going to swing a left fairly soon. And it's around about there, the airfield. Let's, can we even see it? Not quite yet. We can see something there. So swing for a base, and then it's roughly east-west again, this runway, not quite, but near enough. And it looks like it's on the far side of the island, not that, not that the island's particularly wide. Uh, it certainly looks less than a mile wide. So if we shoot for the middle... We can swing a right and we'll pretty much be over the top of it. I think it's on this light green patch here, sort of eyeballing the map. Might, no, actually, no, I might have lied. It might. Whoa! Uh, okay, so this will be a full stop landing then, if we even make it. I thought this thing had a lot more fuel than that. Turns out it does not. I was keeping an eye on the T's and P's and hadn't noticed the fuel had gone to nothing. <laughs> right, wowzers, okay. So, that's uh, lightning, mayday, mayday, mayday. Uh... Alpha Lima traffic, lightning coming in completely dead stick from the southwest, full stop. Well, we ain't going to be going round, that's for sure. Be nice to see the airfield. And speed. Not amazing, not amazing. On earth is the airfield? Alright, well this might be a field landing then. Is 
It says we're on top of the thing now. Oh, it's there. No, is it? No, that's not a runway. There it is. I've just seen it. Oh, we're not going to have the speed to get away with that. Oh no, it's not there. Right, well this field it is. And then we'll zoom out and see how close I was. Oh come on, it was better than that. So, according to Plan G, right, and just so you know, I'm not shitting you here, and I've only just zoomed in on it. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'll show you. That's what I was looking at. Center screen, click. That's what I was looking at. We lost engines around about here, right? Now, if I zoom in on this, we have by some magic landed not only on the airfield, but almost bang on the runway. I ain't seeing no runway. Is that supposed to be it here? Have I not installed this thing properly or something? Oh no, that is it. It, it is a grass field. That is the airfield. And we've just sort of landed across it like that. Well, that's perfectly legit. I must say, I'm quite, quite chuffed with that. Well, we won't be going back to Amsterdam because uh, we ain't got any fuel. So when I said that this will quite happily do a tour of the Netherlands, I was um, completely lying. But uh, there we go. We got down safe. Anyway, look at the tread on those tyres. Really, really good. Top notch. Awesome. See you on the next one.